morning. I don't know why this looks so close up in my face. I'm trying to get like lighting so you can see me better, but I don't want it to be this close. Damn. How's it going, people? <clears throat> How's everything? Honestly, I'm in such a mellow mood. I'm trying to like get my vlogs to reflect more of my personality, but it's just I'm so mellow. I don't even know how to get get that to happen. So. It's like, it's hot outside, but it's not hot. It's like stiff hot, if that makes sense. Anyways, what's up? I just want to make sure y'all doing okay. And I don't know if I'm going to vlog right now because I don't really got much going on. I already ate my stuff. Um, the most I want right now is a cupcake. So I think I might go pick up some of the gluten-free frozen cupcakes. And I guess show you if I do. If not, because I had pasta. I had to, Guess what I did? I had some pasta, okay, and I had um, a stuffed, ha, ha, no, yeah, a stuffed jalapeno. Now I've never tried jalapeno before, but I knew it was hot. I didn't know how hot it was though. But I had a stuffed jalapeno, and I stuffed the jalapeno with the tomato mixture that I made for my pasta. Bomb mixture, tastes so good. So um, stuffed it, took one bite. Oh my god, I was pissed myself. I was like, <sighs> I, I had to like down some water. <laughs> I, I started um my sinuses started acting up all them stuff you know all of a sudden you find out that you're sick all them stuff started happening um oh by the way i forgot to tell you when it came to my sickness the other day i actually cured myself really quick then you know what i did i drank um i drank some juices that i actually bought it was a turmeric ginger lime drink i drank that in the morning i had made some limeade so i drank a gallon of not a gallon maybe a couple I drank about a cup full of that and then in the in the and then throughout the day I just drank water and then by the end of the day I felt really good I wasn't puking like that's how serious it was I was puking by the end of the day I felt good so I ended up buying I mean I ended up making a salad and just eating the salad that helped and then I think that was pretty much it and I was pretty much rejuvenated so today I was just getting my appetite fully back so I ate the pasta and then jalapeno that bust my ass I'm not doing it again I'm gonna try it again though with regular peppers not such hot peppers because those those are just too hot and then oh and then this morning for breakfast I had quinoa porridge I sorry I'm not showing you it's just I, I eat it's like I eat healthy but I also feel like I don't have much to show because I don't want it to be a cooking channel but I don't think I want to vlog because that's too much holding up the camera. <laughs> so I want like, I'm trying to, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Wherever the wind blows, we will go in that direction. But I, for the most part, I am sharing my journey. I just gotta figure out how to share it without looking like a cooking channel. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna, I'll show you when we're in the grocery store when I'm buying some cupcakes or something. <laughs> the options that they have these are all like gluten-free dairy-free and everything else you know but let me show you what i want is here these muffins can you see okay you can't see which one should i go with the gluten-free this one or this one or they also have that I think I'm not sure so I have to decide so I picked up two because I'm craving and I couldn't decide on one so I just decided to pick up two and let me show you the two that I grabbed they are the first one is this Udis brand again the gluten-free chocolate see ya Udis gluten-free and it says double chocolate muffins um dairy soy and nut free what else can i tell you about these bad boys oh you know i want a muffin right now oh by the way i didn't eat i didn't even read the ingredients but it says like cane sugar water liquid water liquid whole eggs chocolate chips cane sugar chocolate liquid cocoa butter tapioca starch brown rice flour canola oil cocoa powder palm oil baking powder lemon zest lemon peel sugar lemon oil salt 
sunflower lectin vanilla extract exanthan gum and then it says contained gum so the ingredients are the ingredients are uh, you know i don't really eat eggs but if i want muffins i guess it's gonna contain some 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 type of egg type thing the only thing about these muffins right because they're coming they're gluten free and stuff they stay in the freezer and they're so hard right now so you have to wait till they thaw out so i bought them ahead of time because i know i want one so once they like my mouth is already watering while i'm trying to talk to you so once they thaw out i'll be able to have one and then i'll show you like later how they how they taste i don't know how they taste and then this one which is the orange cinnamon with mango muffins i was gonna get the apple cinnamon but i'm like ah that's too basic we always get apple cinnamon so let's try something bold so this is bold to me you know what i'm saying so um yeah so apple cinnamon and this one uh is gluten free nut free dairy it didn't say dairy free but it says dairy okay um what can i tell you treat us treat us like your fruit and vegetable vegetables because we do not let me try that again. Treat us like your fruits and vegetables because we do not use any additives or preservatives. Our best of all nutrient dense muffins are best kept fresh and ready to enjoy. 14 days in fridge. If frozen, best thawed at room temperature. Ew, you can microwave these? That's disgusting. Um, so the ingredients on these bad boys are sweet potato, avocado, egg whites, whey protein, isolate, apple, banana, blackberry blueberry cranberry dates orange pomegranate mango chia seeds coconut cinnamon natural flavor pumpkin seeds baking powder baking soda contains milk less than 0.6 percent lactose from the whey egg whites i won't be buying these again because i don't i don't mess with the freaking whey hell to know that shit gives me acne so i'm i'm not well god damn Woo! He was fine. <laughs> um, I'm not happy with this one. I'm not. I'm probably still gonna eat it, but I'm not happy with this one because I can't tell you the last time I had something with milk because I don't want to get messed up or my acne to reflare up. And it's I'm, it's coming along pretty good. Look, my acne is coming along real good. Like, and that that's because I stopped eating a ton load of things and more fruits and vegetables and it's just helped aiding in aiding in this so i guess when they taught i'll tell you how you might have to go back to the grocery store i don't know this you this brand seems better i might bring it back or i might just give it to my younger sisters because they still eat milk and stuff not trying to condone it but they ain't stopping anytime soon so um when they're around me they eat healthy but my entire family eats the way they eat so yeah. so let's go to next up i gotta go pick up something for somebody and then yeah so they're finally thawed out so we're gonna give it a try See how these look. My son is excited. He's there waiting for some. <coughs> some, some, yeah. some. Ugh. Forgive me. I'm doing this with one hand. <coughs> Let's break half because my son wanted some. But now I'm gonna try the other half. And tell you how it is. Okay. What? What do you think? Yeah. I would have to say these are kind of dry, but they're still good. They taste like brownies almost. Um. It has chocolate chip in it. I don't mind them because I don't like overly sweetened things. So it's not too sweet. It's not under sweet. It's just it's all right. It kind of tastes like um <clears throat> it tastes almost like KFC brownies. If the if the if 
They sell those, those bag full of mini brownies, right? It tastes like that. But a little bit better. So they're good. Not bad. One thing I realized about when it comes for me is that when I eat gluten things, I have like a gooey taste or feel in the back of my throat after swallowing. This doesn't give you that gooey feeling. So that's a plus for me. So wait, I guess it, it, it really is. Or they really are marked by the word when it says gluten free because I can tell some things will say gluten free and I can still, I'll still get a reaction to something in it that contains gluten. So this definitely has no gluten. So that's my review on this thing. I don't have much to say. So if you um, are looking for a gluten free chocolate chip muffin alternative, hair, this brand new this. They are to the rescue. So I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions or comments, comment down below.